Hey, hey fabricators. fabricators! Welcome to a special Advancing Fabric brought to you by Advancing Analytics, your data and AI specialists. We are on site at the Microsoft Fabric Community Conference this week. Um, it has been an absolute blast. There has been so many great sessions, some fantastic and huge announcements coming out. Um, I've got quite a, li a list of announcements that I want to, to mention. What about you, Johnny? Yeah, tons of things I want to get through, absolutely. Uh, first of all, can't believe we wore the same outfit. It's so embarrassing. I know, I know. Absolutely We need to terrible. communicate more. I know. Um, so, I mean, being here at the MGM ground in Las Vegas all week has been fantastic. Met so many amazing people. Um, as you say, the number, the number of announcements has been unreal. And then just the sort of excitement around those announcements as well has been like fantastic. Some really exciting things yeah. come in. What are, your, what are your picks? What are yeah, your highlights? So, folders and subfolders, everyone seems to be getting really excited about that. Uh, so, that's quite interesting. So, folders and subfolders inside your workspaces. There's the CI CD for um, Data Factory, which has been so long coming. So, you've got your Data Factory pipelines uh, under source control now, which is fantastic. We saw Fast Copy inside Dataflows Gen 2. Uh, the demo there was essentially sh showing just like rapid ingestion of data um, compared to kind of normal timelines, which was pretty impressive to see. Uh, another one I've been waiting for that's uh, on-premises uh, connectivity through data pipelines. So we only had that in Dataflows Gen 2 before, so we've now got that on-premises con connectivity with your data flows, uh, your pipeline, sorry. Yep. Um, and public preview of mirroring. So mirroring's an interesting one that we spoke to Mark Price Mayer about yep. uh, in Oslo. Uh, so it's great to see that in public preview. Now. That's going to have so much, you know, so many applications, I think, in terms of just getting that data into your platform nice and easy. It's yeah, going to yeah. be a good one, good, powerful one. What about you? What's so, like, absolutely the hottest thing in town is uh, we got folders in your folders. Um, so that, yeah, excited to uh, play around with that. It's kind of, it's so weird. It's like, like honestly, the hype is real. Uh, even though you sort of might think it's quite superficial, it's like all of a sudden the community has been crying out for this as a feature. And now it's landed and I think just everyone is like so appreciative of it. Uh, the other things I'm really excited about, so uh, task flows. So this idea of task flows, um, it is, it allows you to see your entire data project is the way you describe it. So if you can imagine your entire architecture in Fabric, almost seeing that in a lineage view, so you can see like the relationships yeah. from your landing your data using this pipeline into this lake house, or you're using this data flow to get into uh, this data warehouse, and then that data warehouse is going to these reports and things like that. Um, that kind of visual cue to be able to see your um, your architecture and your solution is really, really good. But then on top of that, they're building, um, they, Microsoft are building out <laughs> templates for like common processing patterns. So for example, uh, if you were to say you want to do a medallion architecture, you can press a button and it says, right, well, I will spin up a, uh, a bronze lake house, a silver lake house, a gold lake house, and we'll uh, create some pipelines here that will yeah. move the data for you. And you've still got to code it. You know, it doesn't, it's not fully automated, but it puts the bare bones in place. Yeah, it builds that framework for you. Yeah, the click of a button. So I think that's going to be pretty amazing. Um, metric, uh, metric hubs and metric yeah. sets in Power BI. So as an analytics, um, as an analytics guy, we sort of talk about this concept of metric layers and that kind of um, BI nirvana of the single source of truth. You know, we can always model our, our warehouses and our lake houses to have well-structured data. But when you get to your metrics you know, and your, your DAX calculations, mm. quite often you'll have to essentially reproduce them across different parts of your models. The metric set almost starts to give you a centrally managed, centrally defined set of metrics that you can then reuse across lots of different places and puts a lot of sort of governance around that as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, try to think what else there is so much like mind blown there was yeah yeah, yeah. yeah totally so there's definitely a lot in there and there's there's so many big announcements and as always they can they show up in the uh, mix of fabric blog uh, so check that out we'll drop some links to our favorite ones that we've been talking about so like out of all of those ones what would you what would you say is your favorite please don't say folders i think that's starting <laughs> to upset some, no, some of the product yeah. team I mean, but it's something so simple as is, is bringing so much joy yeah so not folders 
probably subfolders. No, <laughs> uh, seriously, I think task flows, task flows for me. Um, I, I can't wait to play with it. Um, as that, as you say, accelerated to get you up and running even quicker, I think it's going to be really, really good. Yeah, um, yeah. What about you? Uh, it's got to be the public preview of, of mirroring, just the, the capabilities of being able to connect to different sources and have that mirrored inside fabric and just take that E out of the ELT, the extract and load component, um, and that data is just going to be yeah. there for you. So I'm really excited to start playing with that and see where that goes and see all the new interesting um, connections that, that, that we'll have as that grows and expands. Did uh, Mark Price Mayer pay it to say that? He did, yes. <laughs> £10. <laughs> Uh, I think the other one, like it's been everywhere all year, but the co-pilot experiences have felt like they've gone next level as well. Yeah, lots of yeah. really great co-pilot um, demos, and, and again, excited to see that mature and like get bigger and better and more powerful. So, honestly, if I was being a bit geekier, then I'd probably say the CI/CD side of things. Um, just seeing that expanding and um, now covering data factory pipelines and there's some other kind of announcements around there about how you handle that CI/CD um, journey uh, for your workspaces and been able to create environment uh, specific workspaces so easily and so simply um, starts to bring that proper kind of like enterprise developer experience to Fabric. See like you're talking about that and I'm thinking the, the cogs are grinding I'm thinking oh yeah loads of great uh, announcements about the Power BI developer experience so Bringing uh, Direct Lake data set authoring to Power BI Desktop uh, is going to be fantastic. Uh, the ability to be authoring those enterprise scale models in Power BI Desktop without actually having the data inside of Desktop. You can just connect up to uh, the Fabric service and be able to yeah. sort of um, you know, make edits and, and like, author remotely and things like that. Um, there were some other really, really great um, Power BI developer experience things again around copilot in terms of being able to prompt yeah. um you know how to write your dax bring um copilot into dax is potentially really really powerful as well um like i'm itching to like jump on the plane so we can get back to the uk and actually start playing with this stuff yeah um yeah exciting stuff exciting six months 12 months you know the the fabric roadmap uh, looks it's the, the destination at the end of that roadmap is very yeah. exciting yeah, it's great to see this kind of leap, leap ahead. It starts to kind of fill in some of the gaps that we saw before um, around elements of the, the uh, product that just maybe weren't there or maybe weren't quite ready. Um, and we can see them start to fill in and grow from those, uh, those parts as well. So lots of really exciting stuff. And yeah, that's, I mean, that's our news roundup for this month, isn't it? It's just... I mean, they're gonna, uh, if, they're gonna, one. if they drop a news blog on top of this as well, we're doomed. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, no, really, really great. Uh, you know, absolutely go check out all the announcement blogs. They are right there uh, on the on the website. Uh, we'll be again blogging around some features. Um, no doubt making more videos as well. So yeah. make sure you like and subscribe, uh, like and subscribe, in order to uh, check out all that kind of stuff. But yeah. Yeah. So we've got like half a day or a, a day left of sessions today, and then there's some kind of wrap up sessions tomorrow, and that will be. That'll be it for the first Fabric Community Conference. Um, it's been pretty epic. It has, it has. Yeah, so as Johnny says, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See you later.